guys, we're going to keep it rolling. So you know how some performers have one name. There's Madonna, right? And there's Brandy. I want you guys to put your hands together for Costa! All my life, I've been different. I'm Greek, born in South Africa. And you know when the teacher asks you to stand up on the first day of school and say your full name? And the kids are getting up, Joe Kaplan, Nancy Hamilton, Jeff Jones. And then it's my turn. I'm Konstantinos. Theologos Karastavrakis. <laughs> and the teacher says, Can you spell it for me? <laughs> no, I'm five! <laughs> In addition to being Greek, South African, I'm also a gay Greek, South African. <laughs> and a lot of the time I hear, Hey, didn't you guys invent algebra or democracy? Didn't you guys invent homosexuality? Yeah, absolutely. You know, one day in ancient Greece, a man sat down on a penis and thought, hmm, that feels good. Imagine how I got teased and bullied as a high school kid at an all-boys high school where I couldn't name a single sporting hero where I was the last boy in South Africa to reach puberty. And when eventually I did reach puberty, I walked into a classroom, my balls had dropped, my voice had deepened, to present a paper on Alexander the Great, homosexual. <laughs> you know, it confuses me when people say to me, Hey Costa, are you the girl or the boy in the relationship? Do you mean, do I give it in the bum or take it? And what if I do both? Does that make me bisexual? <laughs> or when people say to me, so Costa, what made you gay? Joan Rivers talking about her vagina. <laughs> or when did you first realize you were gay? And actually I remember the day, I was 16. I sat my mother down. I looked her in the eye and said, Mom, please, less Revlon, more Bobby Brown. <laughs> you know, girls have a lot of gay guy friends, and you will think that um, we know what you're thinking. We don't. Like when you say, hmm, I think I'm going to go easy and slow on the sex with this guy. Or when you say, I hate blowjobs. And we also really don't know what you mean when you say, Oh, it just slides in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, I belong to a 12-step drug recovery program. And uh, even there, I feel different. You know, I sit there sometimes hearing people say, I'm so grateful that the urge to use drugs have been, has been lifted by sitting in the circle. And all I'm thinking is, sitting in the circle, I want to do lines. <laughs> so my psychiatrist has me on antidepressants. And what really annoys me is my friends judge me, okay? They judge me and say that by taking the medication, I haven't really stopped taking drugs. But what they don't realize is that the medication takes over a month to kick in, so let's imagine cocaine were the same. Hmm, I feel like getting wasted around the end of January. <sighs> okay, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Anyway, growing up, I used to love watching beauty pageants. I loved the international nature of the Miss Universe competition. A competition that prepared and inspired a lot of gay men for careers in airline service. And watching a lot of these, as a result of watching a lot of these Miss Universe contests, I excelled at school in geography. 
I learned the capital city of every country in the world thanks to the parade of nations where every beauty queen would come down and introduce herself. So in fifth grade, I'm sitting in class and the teacher asks, what is the capital city of the Dominican Republic? And I put up my hand and I say, Hola, mi nombre es Maria Cachita Tarita La Paz and I'm from Santo Domingo, Republic of America. Thank you very much. <laughs>